you started your career very young in, and with a bang, you know, mm. being like in Star Wars, which mm. is amazing. It's a huge blessing, but also uh, it might be a problem because you need to, you, you're going to go with Rey for the rest of your career probably. Like, like Mark was with Luke Skywalker until today. Is it something that you consider that you, that you need to deal with? I, I was an actress who had had a few jobs. I'm lucky enough to have continued to play her and that people really love these films and have responded well to her. And that's awesome. And in the past few years, I've got to do a load of other stuff that people have responded to pretty nicely. So, so it's all pretty good. We are the spark that'll light the fire that'll burn the first order down. Come on! After your initiation in uh, The Force Awakens, now you're not a Paduan anymore. You're a master, you're, you're gonna be a master soon. And you're gonna need to carry this franchise in the future without old generation. How much of a responsibility is it for you? <laughs> I would say I still am, a, I am learning and I think I will be learning for always in terms of the history of this film. Because also everything happens so quickly. It's, it's great between four, five, six and now. There's been so much time because so much stuff could have happened. But there's a limited amount of time. Things that can happen from the beginning of Force Awakens to the end of Last Jedi, it only spans probably three weeks max. So I'm excited to continue to learn. And if I am in episode nine, to see what that holds. But in terms of moving forward, I don't think that we will ever be without the the previous or current cast because they are immortalized in the story and their history is what has shaped this whole saga. So I don't think we will ever have to do that. And I need help. In this movie we get deep into the Force. Mm. We, we learn a lot about it. And I was wondering if there's something from the Force that you know now that you would embrace in your real life as a human being. Probably not to answer on the first uh, thing. Another second to answer, to fill things out, uh, and then go on. Kill it. If you have to. That's the only way to become what you were meant to be. When you think about it, in the last year, you had Gene Arso from uh, Rogue One, yeah. played by Felicity Jones, you had yourself, and you have Wonder Woman by Gal Gadot. Those are the biggest blockbuster of the year, mm. and it's, it's a, a female-centric action movie. Is it a, a new thing in, in Hollywood? In, like, what does it say about the crowd? Mm, I think perhaps studios have rested too much on the fact that they thought was the thing selling the film couldn't be changed. I think it wasn't men in action films that were selling films per se. It's action films. People love to see action films. And it's not just white cast, it's not just a male cast. It's great films that have great characters. And I'm very thrilled to be one of those films that is representing uh, people more as they are. So I actually don't think the audience is different. Maybe there's more of an invitation to an audience if they are seeing things they haven't seen before. But I think for the most part, the audience is probably very similar and just opened up. I don't think there's been a massive shift. I think if anything, it's just opened up, which is fantastic. I need someone to show me my place in all this. 